There are two ways you can go through life, as a tourist or as an inspector. A tourist goes looking to be impressed, an inspector goes looking for trouble. I remember as a child when we would go off for a day trip to South End on Sea, we'd leave Fenchurch Street Station in a bright red carriage. Even the wheels of the train seemed to echo our excitement, going to the sea, going to the sea, going to the sea. And at the end of a seemingly endless day on the beach, we would return red as lobsters, clutching our treasures. Seashells that spoke of ancient mariners, starfishes that would languish in some saucer over the sink until the cat got them, and of course the mandatory stick of rock proudly proclaiming its heritage, South End on Sea, imprinted into its very heart. There's a lot to be said for being a tourist. It's certainly better than being an inspector. An entire generation of the Jewish people perished for being inspectors through the calamity of the spies. What happened? Moshe and Moses sent spies to check out the land of Canaan, Canaan. The spies brought back a negative report and the people lost their faith in God's ability to give them the land and that entire generation were not allowed into Eretz Israel. They died in the desert. It's difficult to reconcile the punishment with the crime. True, the Jewish people showed a lack of trust in God, but that was only after the spies caused panic with their stories of an unnatural land filled with giants. Secondly, what caused the spies to lose their faith in Hashem, in God, and speak negatively about the land? The spies, the Torah tells us, were all great people, righteous to a man. So we've got two questions. Why were the people punished en masse for what was really the slander of the spies? And secondly, what corrupted these great men? Now, in principle, God was not opposed to the spies journeying through the land, but their journey was supposed to be like a tourist trip, to be impressed, to breathe the holy air of the land, to absorb its sanctity and to return elevated. At the beginning of their journey, the spies were guiltless. It was the people who wanted the land checked out, not the scouts. They wanted an inspection. They wanted an in-depth survey. Is the land fertile or barren? Is it possible to make a living? Are the locals going to be difficult to deal with? These are things that God decides, not man. The demands of the nation set up the spies to stumble and fall. And that's why God's anger was directed at the entire people. And the Jews then found themselves on the longest day trip in history, 40 years, each year corresponding to the 40-day trip of the spies. Each of us is on our own trip through this world. Will we choose to be inspectors or will we choose to enjoy the God-given vistas of our life? <laughs>